Last time on the Lazy Geckos. We get hit by Hurricane Matthew. We showed you what devastation the storm left and what it's like to wait to see if your boat even made it through the storm. Then we started to put our gecko back together for our upcoming cruise. We cannot wait to get going. Scrubbing going. It's good. Um, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm getting high from the fumes, but we do have like the boat completely open, all these fans going, everything going. You wouldn't think so, but waving down all your wood is hard. I know I'm just waving, but like I'm having to get in all the nooks and crannies, take everything apart. I'm going to show you what I'm using. So we were really scared to do our wood. What, what have we lived down here for like eight months, nine mm -hmm. months, 10 months? 10 months we've lived down here. We haven't done anything to our wood because we've been so worried and we had somebody come in to take a look at something that we need repaired. Thank you, Kaya. We love you. We will always remember you. <laughs> and when he came in, he told us how to treat our wood. And he said, you know, you can use olive oil or you can use this stuff, Watco, Wat, Watco? teak oil so we're waving down all of our wood conditioning it all getting it all nice and pretty and shiny I'm having fun and we got to do it like well Reese is off the boat and stuff because we don't want him breathing this in you have to go with the grain honey you just didn't I know <laughs> you you uh up and down made me Smooth strokes. very um <laughs> not side to side okay well I'm not perfect but uh, you made it very clear that I need to go with the grain. That's right. All right, all of our gecko friends, we are moving slips. Hooray, honey, how do you feel? We're, I got some booty action. How do you feel about that? Good and bad. Okay, why bad? <laughs> well, we gotta, we gotta dock again. <laughs> so we gotta leave just to dock. We hate docking, but we're gonna bring you guys with us. We're actually, walking around the marina in a moment to set up our GoPro for you. Cha-ching. You know it's cruising season when you're asked to move slips from long-term dockage? I was gonna say long-term parking, but I don't know. Long-term to short-term. So we are now into the short-term area. The contracted people are coming into their slips for prime cruising season, which is very exciting for us because we're getting ready to head on out of here. It's a little nerve-wracking when, um, you haven't moved your boat in a while, but we need to polish up on our skills. I think we're gonna do wonderfully. You guys can be the judge of that. And we are gonna go move this bad boy. Moving the lazy gecko from a long-term slip to a short-term has completely pumped us up. We've been waiting out this year's hurricane season. We definitely feel that we've made the right choice, being that Florida got hit so hard. But now the season is coming to an end and our cruise is about to begin. One of the items we had to do was to get prescription medications to have on the boat in case someone needed it. So off to the doctor we went. We just got back from CVS. I have two full bags. Are you helping me? Okay. We have two full bags full of goodies. We went, each went to the doctor individually. We told them we were traveling and they wrote us prescriptions for our travels, uh, just in case. And what you wanna do is wait until right before you leave to see the doctor. I understand it may take time. However that works out, get to the doctor. And fortunately for us, we were able to see a husband and wife doctor who travel a lot, so they knew exactly what we needed. And that really helped us because we were unsure this is our first time. So we got stuff in case we get UTI, sore throat, upper respiratory infections, pink eye, also skin infections, amoxicillin as well. And how they did races is they left it dry. And I'm able to fill it with the water to make the liquid 
to activate it when he needs it, if he needs it. So it was all really just precautionary stuff if we can't get to the doctor right away. And that'll take care of us. Even if we don't use anything, we have the peace of mind that we can treat something if something were to happen. We just picked up the Viking raft from Solution One Maritime in Tampa, Florida. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of what happened. So they opened it up, you saw in a previous video, we ran through the inspection, but not the official inspection. They just showed us what was going on with it. They opened it up, replaced everything, looked at everything, uh, pressure testing, strength testing, checked for leaks, the full deal. Uh, repacked everything, gave us new batteries, new flashlights, made sure everything was in working order. And then, uh, they packed it back up and here it is. So we've gotten our certificate of uh, completion and what they call that is the certificate of reinspection. Right here, that's what it looks like. And then they also gave us an itemized list of everything they did. So that's basically, you know, what we paid for, our safety and certificate. Yesterday when we picked up our Viking raft, we both got a little lesson in how an e works and the safety of it. So I wanted to share with you guys what I learned. Okay, so there's two types of e -perbs. There's category one and category two. Category one is not what we have, it's in a box. And what happens with that one is when it hits the water, it ejects from the boat and it comes up and floats and your e goes off. Now with a sailboat, you want a category two because a category one could get caught in your sails, the rigging, that type of thing. So that's what we have, a category two. It's right here. Unclip it there, you pull it out. Here it is. You can turn it on two different ways or it activates two different ways. You can do it manually by flipping the switch or when it hits water, it will activate. However you work it out, you want to use this lanyard right here and attach it to yourself. You don't want to attach it somewhere else because that might go one way and you're going to go the other way. So make sure you do a good job at attaching it to yourself and it's with you at all times. The battery needs to be changed every five to six years. You will have an expiration date or a date that it needs to be serviced. Right now ours is 05 2019. You cannot do this yourself. You are not authorized to. You have to bring it into a professional. Another thing that they will do for you is pressure test it when it's in there. They will check off all the boxes, make sure everything's good. Now, some mistakes that we learn that people make when they have these e are taking them out to wash them or leaving them in a spot where they'll get wet and then they activate. And what happens in that case is they will contact everybody that you have registered to your NOAA certification. Now this certification is something that you do online and it is free which is wonderful you know when you own a boat it's very expensive so you want to make sure you do that and you update your emergency contacts and who you want to be contacted in case of emergency so if it does get activated they will contact everybody before they come to rescue you because a lot of times people do make the mistakes of getting them wet. I know they are coming out with many new options now, some for yourself. Um, you know, the battery to get it changed is pretty expensive now that I think about it. It's about $300. I think you can buy a whole new one for four or 500 that actually gets serviced for free. They're offering some type of warranty. But you might wanna check into that, figure it out. Get one, guys. It's important. It'll save your life. We got a call from our mail service begging us to come get our mail. When we showed up, we found three full carts of packages that a few viewers had sent. Thank you guys, you're completely awesome. Reflector is part of the safety thing Are you ready? that we have. You ready? Yeah. Yes. You see that light working? Nope, us either. We did a complete inventory of our safety gear, such as beacons and flares. Most had to be replaced, which we were expecting. We just wanted to wait before we started to move again. That way, our expiration date would be further out. Expiration August 2016. Well, let's pop it off. The boat's on fire, the boat's on fire. Mom! All jokes aside, we've ordered the Mac Daddy safety kit. With kiddos on board, we've spared no expense in having all safety gear that we can. We'll show you more in an upcoming episode. Next time on The Lazy Geckos.
we head to Key West for our Lazy Gecko Meetup, which just happened to be during this year's Fantasy Fest. We show you around the island. We also show you what happens in this town during the festival. This episode will be insane. You don't want to miss it. Spread the love by becoming a patron. Feel free to make PayPal donations by visiting our blog at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons get unlimited access to all of our Vimeo videos.